Hi, welcome to the video. I'm John and this is part 8 and the last in the series of my hockey stick guitar build. I've spent over four months and over a hundred hours working on this guitar. It's completely assembled, it's all set up and ready to be sent off to the client. But first I'd like to go over the parts and features and plug it in and play it so I can show you how great it sounds. A lot of people quickly dismiss the hockey stick guitar saying that something made of hockey sticks couldn't have a good tone. Most people believe you need one solid piece of tone wood to make a great sounding body. I think it's because this guitar is made up of many different kinds of wood and the way it's constructed that gives it its great tone. There are many many ways of getting tone out of a guitar. This guitar doesn't have a thick poly finish hiding the tone. In fact the hockey stick guitar barely has any finish at all letting its natural tone come shining out. Another way I get tone out of this guitar is how I mount the pickups. Most guitar makers hang the pickups from plastic rings or pick guards by tiny screws. I mount my pickups with large screws right to the body making as much contact as possible. This makes the pickup an actual part of the body. Using a Seymour Duncan full shred high output humbucker and GFS true coils really help to get great tone and a wide spectrum of sound combinations from this guitar. I also replaced the stock tone block with a brass big block creating more tone and sustain. I even installed small mahogany blocks behind the bridge bushings to give support and a little bit of tone. It's a small thing but just one more link in the chain for tone and sustain. The electronics are kept very simple, just one volume and one five-way selector switch. I had the neck custom made by Wormuth, and this is one of the best necks I've ever seen. Wormuth is not cheap, but what you get is worth every penny. The great thing about them is you can go on their website and order a custom neck made to your exact specs. I wanted a maple neck compound radius rosewood fretboard with white dots jumbo frets, and a Jackson style headstock. Wormuth was the only place I could find all that at this quality. I wrapped the headstock with black hockey tape and installed genuine Gatto tuners. With the help of some backing tracks I'm going to go through each pickup independently to show the versatility of this guitar. I'm going to start with the single coil in the neck position with a clean channel. Next is the single coil in the middle position with a dirtier channel. Finally, the humbucker with lots of distortion.
Well, I don't know what more I can say, except I hope you found these videos interesting. Several people have contacted me explaining how they've been inspired to create their own hockey stick guitars, and that's been very flattering. If you'd like information on how I can build you a hockey stick guitar or any custom guitar, contact me through my YouTube channel or on Facebook, Johnny B Guitars. Thanks.